Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? 
night or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in there gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh see does that star spangled banner it wave or the land of the free and the home of the of 2022, please be seated. Welcome to Severance Music Center for the Class of 2022 Commencement Ceremony. Let's give them a round of applause. This evening, I'd like to give a special welcome to students, parents, siblings, grandparents, and family members. Welcome to board members, teachers, administration, and the staff who are in attendance today. A special thank you to Amy Schulte and Katie Sega for the creation of the commencement program. Thank you to Craig Alexander and Catherine Barney for all their work with the class of 2022. A special thank you to the after prom mothers who put together the gifts and prizes you received two weeks ago. Thank you, thank you to Brian Cost and the custodial staff for making today happen as well. Thank you to all of your teachers and the high school staff. Sp finally, a special thank you to Aubrey Erkins, Ryan Peters, and CJ Perro for not only their hard work today, but also their support throughout this school year. Before I go on, Students, I'd like to have you have a round of applause for two special groups. We're going to recognize right now both your parents and your teachers. I would like to take a moment to congratulate four special high school staff members who are retiring this year. Lisa Goldman is retiring after 23 years as a teacher. Earlier this spring, I had an opportunity to travel to Italy with the high school orchestra. During the trip, the orchestra performed three con concerts in Venice, Florence, and Rome. It was amazing to see students perform in front of large crowds in each of these cities. This is one example of a legacy Mrs. Goldman has made over several years. Lisa, please rise and be recognized. Arlene Turbo, paraprofessional, is also retiring this school year. Arlene has spent numerous years working with students in the special education classrooms throughout the district. Her dedication to students with special needs has always been apparent. I wanted to thank Arlene for her years of service. Lil Picorni is also retired after many years of service in the Beachwood City Schools. Lil has worked with the Deaf and Hard of Hearing program over the years as a mentor. Lil has been an important member of this department and I'm positive her work as, as a mentor has helped many students in this program succeed. Lil, congratulations. Last but not least, Pat Stoltz is retiring after many years of service as an instructional aide and has been an instructional assistant in the Colony Arch program over the past several years. Pat has a unique opportunity to teach both Beachwood students and students in the Excel Tech Consortium. Pat will be missed greatly. Pat, we appreciate your years of service. So when I was preparing this speech a few days ago, I was looking through several newsletters and emails I sent out about the senior class and the student body this year. Then I realized I could look back six years at newsletters going back to the sixth grade. It is unbelievable to think that I've had the opportunity to be with this class for six years of the seven. I only missed your ninth grade year. Then, who would have thought, not only did I have six years of fun and excitement, I also had six years of gray hairs, okay? so. All right, 
But all kidding aside, you have come so far. You've attended sixth grade camp. We've went to DC together. You spent three years of high school navigating a global pa pandemic. When you start to really think about the past seven years, starting at middle school, you have seen and done so much. So what two things can you, I take away from the past seven years? They are rather simple. Number one, and I say this every year, be kind. Kindness has a power to solve almost every problem. Kindness creates opportunities in a person's life. Kindness can heal a person almost instantly. I know I try to model, model kindness every time I step into Beechwood High School. If you start with these thoughts each day, things will go easier for you. Second, I say this as well, work hard. I've learned over the years that it may take time to be recognized. It may take time to land your first job. It may take time to be promoted. And sometimes you even need to start over. But here's some very simple advice. If you fail, try again. Working hard and persevering through difficult times is not only the right thing to do, but many times this will open new doors for you more than any other trait. This year, I have learned more than ever to try to laugh and smile as much as possible. I've learned to go with the flow and adjust to the changes. I've learned to laugh when I felt like crying. I've learned to speak to my family and friends when times were tough. Here's my final advice to you. Do not underestimate the power of laughter and humor. Do not underestimate the importance of seeking out a friend or a family member when you need to talk. So often, we've lost opportunities to connect. Continue to celebrate class of 2022. Laugh together. When you leave for college, take an opportunity to connect with new friends. Cherish the small things in life, and guess what? Cherish your friendships. Congratulations, class of 2022. We are proud of you, and we love you. At this time, I'd like to recognize academic excellence by individually recognizing our magna cum laude graduates. I would like these students to stand, please stand as I read your name and please remain standing until, I have, until you have been recognized and the entire group has been recognized. Tyler Seligan. <laughs> Abigail Chiran. <laughs> Alan Haas. Fadula <laughs> Javanath. Michael Karpov. <laughs> Moonmi Kim. <laughs> David Kwong. <laughs> Melanie Lee. <laughs> Ilya Nikitin. <laughs> Gabriella Rovner. John Tzu. <laughs> Christian Wu. <laughs> Bowen Zhang. <laughs> and Evelyn Zhang. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you may be seated. At this time, I'd like to make an announcement and call Megan Walsh to the podium. Good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to Beechwood's commencement for the class of 2022. I couldn't be happier for all of us to be together as we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates alongside family members, friends, teachers, and administrators, all of whom have played a part in making this day possible. They say it takes a village, and I so appreciate that all of you are part of ours. You make our Beechwood community bison strong. To the parents of our graduates, I imagine you've been reflecting back on your child's academic journey as their senior year came to an end and today's culminating event approached. I imagine it feels like just yesterday you sent your child off to kindergarten, to middle school, and even to the high school. As a mom of a sixth grader and a third grader, a third grader who, by the way, commandeered my laptop while I was working on these remarks and inserted his favorite word into the text, I don't have to tell you what the word was. He's nine, 
you know what the word was. But it's for that reason, and perhaps a few others, that it's very hard for me to imagine sitting where you are today. I'm sure you would tell me, though, that it will be here before I know it, in the blink of an eye. As my grandmother used to say, and probably your grandmother used to say, the days are long, but the years are short. Whether it felt like it would never end, or you wanted to hold on forever, all of you have played such an instrumental role in your child's successes. To our teachers and staff, thank you for nurturing, encouraging, and educating our students, especially over the past two years as we faced unprecedented challenges and managed to find new opportunities. I know you have seen, much more than I have, the growth of our students and their ability to overcome, persevere, and thrive. More than any GPA, test score, or number of college acceptances, I have been so proud to see our students fulfill our district's mission to develop intellectual entrepreneurs with a social conscience. I've seen the class of 2022 recognize how important it is to take care of themselves, to find their voices, and to take care of those around them. I cannot thank our educators enough for cultivating the environment where that is possible. To the class of 2022, I see you. I've seen you in the classroom learning. I've seen you on stage performing. I've seen you on the field, court, track, et cetera, competing, and I've seen you in our community volunteering. Maybe there have been times when you wondered if what you were doing mattered, if it was enough, if it was making a difference. I can assure you that it does matter. Every little bit helps, and you are making a difference. These past few years have been challenging in many ways, but I have to commend you, class of 2022, for what you inspire in me every time I see you. At every event, whether it was a play, a sporting event, a concert, an award ceremony, every time I see you, I am filled with hope and optimism. I look at all of you, like I'm doing right now, and I feel incredibly comforted that the future will be bright because soon you will be leading us. It's cliche to say that diversity is our greatest strength, but I believe it's true. Let's think about it in a different way. Class of 2022, I ask you to think about the things you're passionate about, about the things that you'll change when you're in charge. I assure you that the things you're thinking about are different from the person sitting next to you. Maybe they're different in big ways, maybe they're different in small ways, but whether those differences are big or small, it is that diversity that will ensure the bright future. You will all find different pieces of the puzzle to work on and then bring the pieces together to create something beautiful. And I can't wait to see it. Congratulations, Beechwood, class of 2022. Good evening. Class of 2022, we did it. We graduated. We made it through high school in face of numerous odds. The global pandemic and subsequent online schooling that shook our lives and left us vulnerable to social isolation, the social unrest and unstable political atmosphere that left many of us walking on eggshells, all those jokes we made before a major test about how we'd probably flunk out of high school, and all the not-so-jokes about us failing from those who didn't believe in us. We graduated. And I suppose congratulations are in order, but you've already heard that many times today. So instead, I'll take the time to say thank you. Thank you, of course, to the teachers who supported us and the administration that stood behind us. Surely we would have never made it through freshman year without their steadfast belief in our success. But I'd also like to thank the students of this class, and that may seem a bit odd, so let me give a little context. Once upon a time, as all good stories start, there was a 12-year-old girl who was in the sky at a bit over 30,000 feet. No, this isn't a fantasy story about a super-powered child. She was just in an airplane. 
But the important part is that she was in an airplane freaking out, not from airplane anxiety, but because of the destination. You see, she and her family were moving halfway across the world to a little town in Ohio, USA. And while she didn't mind the change in scenery, she would miss home and was worried she'd be out of place in this new city, new country, new continent. Sure, she'd lived in the States before, but that was Texas and she was four years younger. Besides, she didn't even understand much of American con culture. She had never even heard of LeBron James. How would she ever fit in? But instead of pitchforks and glares, she was welcomed with open arms and warm smiles by the, by the people of Beechwood. She even made a friend for life at New Student Orientation. And on her first day of seventh grade, another girl greeted her kindly and helped her navigate the school after the opening assembly. She wasn't cast out. She wasn't alone. She was accepted. And it wasn't some new student phenomenon either. The students of Beach would have always been kind in their own ways. From the major moments, like when the middle school was under a bomb threat and everyone lent their strength to help each other, or when our school year was interrupted by a global pandemic. And though quarantine made it hard to maintain our connections, our friendships would stood at all. And the smaller moments, like when everyone was ranting about a test or rule being unfair, and for once there were no clicks, just a united front. With words of encouragement and supportive smiles, the students of Beach would come together, and it was this community that helped get the girl through middle school and high school. And when 12th grade rolled around, the girl was, came to deeply appreciate each of her classmates, from the people she held close to her hearts, to those that drifted apart, and even the ones she barely knew. For they all taught her something about life, whether it be patience or resilience, or even gentle kindness from a stranger, like when she fell in the cafeteria and instead of laughing, people helped her up, or when a peer calmed her down before a math test. The girl was able to create deep connections and become a part of something bigger than herself. Truly, she experienced Beachwood as it is, a home. However, the girl never got to say thank you, so she's taking the time right now to say it. Thank you, Class of 2022, for giving me a home when I thought I was leaving mine. Thank you for this environment you have made, for the connections forged through it all, the friendships, for the nuances between drama and unity. Perhaps Winnie the Pooh said it best, we didn't realize we were making memories, we were just having fun. This class has stood up for what they believe in with rallies and protests, we have remained resilient in face of a global pandemic, armed with Zoom calls and extracurriculars. And we have comforted each other and given smiles to strangers and held doors open for others. Bison Strong isn't just a tagline at the end of an email, and one bison isn't just a school slogan. There's something true to Beechwood, something true to this year's graduates. Now, some of you may question the importance of this, saying we'll all forget each other in a few years, and I hate to say it, but you'd be right. We'll probably forget most of our peers' names and faces. But remembering isn't a recall of details. It's an honoring of memories. We are each other's legacies because every single one of us has been influenced by peers, has been made, has been touched by classmates. We have all been made different people than we were yesterday because of the seconds shared within this community. And even if we forget everything, we will all still be echoes of high school yearbooks. And when I'm gray haired and wrinkled and can't remember your names, I promise I will remember you, the class that gave me a home. Because these memories you have given me have taught me strength and kindness and are something I will carry within me with every step I take. So class of 2022, thanks for the memories. I hope you're all feeling good. So I feel pretty good, can't lie. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest, I actually never thought that I would have the opportunity to stand on this stage, let alone with my entire class behind me. I know we've had a slew of COVID graduations, so I know that we're extremely lucky. But the past four years have been anything but typical, but they have been really special. From the hours spent cramming for midterm exams to the minutes spent waiting in line for lunch, it's all become a blur. I can recount countless nights spent procrastinating on multiple hours of homework until the clock on my bedside table inevitably read 2 a.m. You know, special. <laughs> Yet all of the hard work finally pays off now. In a few months, many of us will be heading to various stages with the wisdom imparted from our years at Beechwood through all of the four different schedules, Beechwood has given me some unforgettable memories. I remember when I was a wide-eyed freshman who used my locker every day and struggled to make it to Miss People's chemistry class on time from the English hallway, and when I was a sleep-deprived junior, opening my computer to begin my online classes. But there's one memory that sticks out to me in particular, and it's actually for a pretty gross reason. Let me set the scene. 
It was our freshman year homecoming game, and there was a palpable excitement in the student section. In case you're unaware, during homecoming week, all of the classes compete against each other in fun activities to get points, which are then totaled, and the grade with the most amount of points is crowned as superior, you know, fun high school activities. The halftime show was approaching, and there was a relay that was set up that would lead to a boatload of points. This was the year that we had the Hurt Against Hunger sandwich campaign, so part of the relay was to make a sun butter and jelly sandwich and to make as many as possible. I signed up for this relay alongside my peers in an effort to prove our dominance as the freshman class. This was our first mistake. <laughs> what we did not know was that unfortunately, freshmen will never be the dominating class. I don't make the rules, this is just part of the Beachwood High School DNA. Anyways, Mr. A came down on the field and beckoned all the students to come compete in this competition. There was a row of white tables stacked together, and on top of them stood our materials to win this relay. Giant Teb's sun butter, Welch's jelly jam, and a metric ton of white bread. Yet, there was one thing missing, and this was crucial, utensils. What occurred that Friday night was possibly the most sacrilegious thing to occur on the Beechwood High School football field. Maybe the second most if you take the sweltering orchestra concert into consideration. <laughs> Hordes of children began to dip their hands into sun butter and jelly containers only to slather their condiment of choice onto contaminated sandwiches. Now I want you to imagine 14 year old me covered from the elbow down in sun butter. And I mean, I was sticking my hand in the tub trying to get in there. So the sandwiches were made assembly line style, and at the end, there was someone scarfing them down. Looking back, the competition was definitely not COVID friendly. <laughs> it's probably good that we will never experience an event like this again. I can say now that there was no way we were gonna win, but I think we all basked in our collective loss. My worst fear as a freshman was losing the homecoming, homecoming competition, if that wasn't clear. But there are few things more liberating in this life than having your worst fear realized. In fact, today I can tell you that whether you fear it or not, disappointment will come. This time, not in the form of disappointment due to the loss of potential supremacy over the upperclassmen, but through the loss of things that you actively worked for or assumed would come your way. However, the beauty is that through disappointment, you can gain clarity. And with clarity comes conviction and true originality. Now, don't get me wrong. Disappointment really stinks, even more than the anatomy classroom when they're dissecting the cats. But disappointment is vital in developing as a human being. It's okay to fail, and it's okay to be disappointed. I think we oftentimes are in an environment where success is defined as something super concrete, but actually, Success is extremely vague, the definition that is. Of the 138 people standing on the stage, there are probably 138 different iterations of success, and each of them is also accurate. Luckily, I think I've narrowed it down significantly for all the confused people out there who are still searching for this elusive success. You're welcome. Although everyone has different goals and different definitions of success, the pathway to getting there is oddly similar. Whether, whatever success might look like for you, the key to achieving your goals is just to work hard and be kind. And I can promise you, amazing things will follow. Thank you. Of 2022 will be gifting Beechwood High School a collection of books that champion inclusivity, pride, and diversity within BHS and the world as a whole. The books are Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Achidi, Atomic Habits by James Clear, Less by Andrew Sean Greer, The Lies That Bind, Rethinking Identity by Quaim Anthony Apaya, and the varieties of human experience by William James. Additionally, we plan to create a banner with the quote that resonates with our class from South African author, Mita Zinindalu. 
you are powerful enough to overcome it all. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Superintendent Hardis and members of the Board of Education, it is my honor to certify that all members of the class of 2022 standing before you have successfully completed the course of study prescribed by the Beecher Board of Education in the state of Ohio necessary for graduation. And actually, do me a favor, please rise. Dr. Hardis. Thank you, Mr. Chase. It is my privilege to present to the Beechwood Board of Education the Beechwood High School graduating class of 2022. Mrs. Walsh, please come to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Hardis. I gladly accept the class of 2022. You may be seated. Row one, please stand. Eva Zara Ali. Claire Weaver. Alice Helen Anassis Roni Sarah Avitan Brooklyn Rose Bennett. <laughs> Joseph D. Barinholtz. <laughs> Alexandra Maya Bergman. <laughs> Grant Lewis Bernstein. Mario Bland, Jr. <laughs> Matthew David Blumenthal. <laughs> Christopher Juan Boston. Christian Maxwell Bowling. <laughs> Elliot William Brown. <laughs> C. 
Sarah Bernice Brown. Sydney Davis Burkons. Amy Elizabeth Byron. Eleonora Caffarelli. Kevin Nairi Carpenter, Jr. Tyler Brady Sellian. Abigail Chirion. Justin Reed Chiswick. <laughs> Kaylee Corinne Clark. <laughs> Ari Cohen. Please be seated. Row two, please stand. Vidur Jabanath. Gabrielle Richard Connor. William H. Creel. James Crosby. Graham Cruz. Madeline Cummings. Miranda Gabrielle DeSatnik. Kabir S. Dillon. Duan. <laughs> Aaliyah Claire Edwards. <laughs> Kobe Philip Einhorn. Joseph Epstein. (laughs) 
Shane Dole, Rivka Farmer. Maya Kanera Lubai. Isabel Garcia Molina. Deckel Isaac Golan. Alana Isabel Goldschmidt. Jonathan Edward Ryan Gordon. <laughs> Jacob N. Green. <laughs> Alan Alicia Haas. Nadia Hall. <laughs> Nicholas R. Harmer. <laughs> Zachary L. Harmer. Row two, please be seated. Row three, please stand. David Kwong. Isaac Simon Hardstone. Dynasty Shia Michelle Hawkins. <laughs> Tanisha Ann Hurd. Benjamin Joseph Heron. <laughs> Jacob Eric Howard. <laughs> Yonatan Heyer. Jonah Asher Kaminsky. <laughs> Michael D. Karpov. <laughs> Dylan Michael K. Noi M. Karen. <laughs> Moon Yee Kim. Oh, no. 
Nyla Chere Goose. Zachary R. Cornspan. Melanie Dawn Lee. Edmund Wang Lee. Eli Israel Love. Abigail Reagan Lewis. Ethan Alexander Luxembourg. Ingrid Meyer. Sankit Makar. Brendan James Malik. Molly Markowitz. Row three, please be seated. Row four, please stand. Rebecca Ruth Gibbs. Ian Gregory Ward. Clea Kaylee Marku. <laughs> Ellie Cinnamon Mayers. <laughs> Jacob Evan Michaelo. Debonair Nazir Ray Mitchell. Jake Cameron Nunes. Mackenzie LaShawn Nance. Nikitin. <laughs> Talia Novikov. <laughs> Anima Connor C. Ogre. Samuel Isaac Ornstein. <laughs> Jacob Matthew Papcom. <laughs> Alex Park.
Riley K. Park. <laughs> Kayla Rachel Perlmutter. Gregory D. Perryman, Jr. <laughs> Jack Lewis Petty. <laughs> Benjamin Lee Pham. Yoda Pataya. Shivani Raj Kapal. Row four, please be seated. Row five, please stand. I see it again. Maya Rose Velasquez. <laughs> Alyssa. Conceda Murphy. <laughs> William Jordan Owens. <laughs> Nathaniel Reese the third. Richardson. <laughs> Shannon Maurice Richardson, the second. <laughs> Drew Riley. Madison Taylor Rosenblatt. <laughs> Joshua Rosenfeld. <laughs> Romy Roth. Alexia Rausch. <laughs> Gabriella, Gabriella Rosner. <laughs> Raphael David Rubeck. Allison Mary Sagir. <laughs> Noah Seidel. <laughs> Anton Sakanovich. <laughs> Cole Schechter.
Rebecca Lee Shapiro. Riley Morgan Sharp. John Bay Su. Avery Solomon. Row five, please be seated. <laughs> Row six, please stand. <laughs> Jack Solomon. <laughs> Anwar S. Sosi Aluli. Shari Hope Spiegel. <laughs> Devon Jordan Starks. <laughs> Alyssa Nicole Strong. Yvonne Swaby. <laughs> Omer Israel Teeb. <laughs> Noah Israel Tannenbaum. Michael Tepper. Yeah. Ivan Leon Tal. Yeah. Hamid R. Thornton, Jr. Isaiah Travis. <laughs> Daniel Evan Uriah. <laughs> William Ethan Uvlin. Benjamin J. Vidmar McEwen. <laughs> Xander Walker. <laughs> Samuel A. Warner. Devon Tyshawn Wary. Grant Robert Wessler.
Row six, please be seated. Row seven, please stand. Brianna Marshi Wera. Megan Anderson Woolley. Christian B. Wu. Leah Yakubov. Grace Yan. Lucas Yang. Tori Yang. Shane Brendan Young. Bowen Zhang. Evelyn K. Zhang. Zaylene Sun Zhang. Seven, please be seated. Thank you. Are you ready? Please rise for the singing of the alma mater.
class of 2022, please grasp your tassel with your left hand and move it to the left side. Congratulations, graduates!